is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. The natural mind does not understand the things of the spirit. If you have your Bible this morning, quickly I want you to turn to Ecclesiastes chapter 3. We'll be reading Ecclesiastes chapter 3 from verse 1 to 7. The scripture said, to everything there is a season. There is a season and a time for every purpose under the heavens under the heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get, and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to cast away, a time to rend, and a time to sue, a time to keep silence, and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. As you look at somebody by your left and by your right and ask him a question, do you understand seasons? Amen. Do you understand seasons? The scripture said to everything, everything, not some things, everything, there is a time and season. And that is what I'll be using for my subject this morning, understanding seasons, understanding seasons. Spirit of the living God, we worship you. Thank you again this morning. For we know that the grass wither and the flower fades, but your word stands forever. Lord, I hide behind the cross. Let no man but sin, but your power, your grace be released unto us. We ask, O Lord, that you will transform each and every one of us as your word comes down from the throne of grace this morning in Jesus mighty name we we'll pray Amen. hallelujah Amen. understanding seasons it's very important in our life because if you don't understand season there is a tendency for you to interpret things from the surface and when you interpret life itself from the surface you would have missed out on what God is doing in your life or doing through you or doing in a certain time. So it is important for us to understand a season and time. Hallelujah. In Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 11, Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 11, the scripture said, I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill, but time and chance happeneth to them Oh, so skills is good, but the scripture said that is not a guarantee for success. Uh, um, being fast is good, but that is not a guarantee to give you the things that God has designed for you. Um, yes, being 
able you know to have deep understanding is good um, but you must also understand timing uh, because doing the right thing at the wrong time can actually destroy or bring the negative result instead of the right result so there is always time for everything there is time you will be happy and there is time you will not be happy there are times you go through stuff uh, let me announce to you that bad things do happen to good people that you are good that you have done the right thing does not mean things stuff temptation will not come in to your life but understanding time understanding season will help you to navigate two people can go through a situation if you don't understand what is happening around you there is a tendency for you to react to what is happening negatively and when you react what happened is that you lose out of what God is trying to do in your life or trying to do through you but when you have understanding it helps you um, to navigate through life simply the truth is that you know um, I was just talking to somebody the other day and I realized there were things that I used to be interested in that I don't like anymore and we go through that phase in life and if you don't understand there is a tendency for you to feel something is wrong with you or people want to make you feel that there is something wrong with you so you must understand there is a season there is time for everything there are things and there are way things work matthew chapter 13 we'll read from verse 24 to 30 the scripture said another parable put he forth before them saying the kingdom of heaven is lacking unto a man who sown good seed in the, his field but while men slept his enemy came and sowed tears among the wheat and went his way but when the blade has sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appear thirst also. So the servant of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou sow good seed in thy field? From where then hath come the tears? He said unto them, An enemy has done this. The servant said unto him, Without them have us go and gather them up. But he said, Nay, lest while ye gather up the tears, ye root up also the wheat with them. Let both grow together until they harvest. And in the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, gather ye together first the tears, bind them in bundle to bond them, but gather the wheat into the barn. So sometimes you don't need to, it's not every time issue happen that you react to it. It's not every time you want to act and it's not everything that is the devil sometimes we give the devil too much credit in our life sometimes we are so conscious of the devil that we don't understand the things we should be doing yes they might be doing their own thing the scripture said that when the sons of men gather the devil gather but the thing is there was nothing job could have done at that time that will prevent the enemy from coming into his life but how are you handling it because you can destroy you can abort the destiny that god has for you because you are trying to destroy the evil you are trying to destroy what is not good there are things 
that you need to wait to get to the mature state before you handle it. Not everything you react to immediately. He said, wait, let them mature, because while you are trying to do the right thing, uh, you might destroy the good. While you, are, while you are trying you know, to remove the bad thing, you might also remove the good ones. How you react is determined by your understanding. It's not everything that you should react to. A man said something. He said, the day that you understand that irrespective of the situation that you find yourself, that God will take care of you, he said, that is when your freedom begins. That you are not moved by circumstances. You are not moved by situation, but you are, you are moved with deep understanding and revelation. So you act upon revelation and not happenings. Because sometimes we are acting on happenings and not revelation. And when you act on happenings, what happens is that you can abort what God is doing in your life. So not everything and not every time you need to act. You know, sometimes, you know, people or sometimes you feel you have to do some things about some situation. The race is not to the swift. It said, the scripture said sometimes we plant and when we wake up, we do not know how things grow. That sometimes you just need to react, relax in the Lord, you know. The scripture talked of Job, you know, even though he didn't understand he, the situation, he has set himself and he said, look, I, I believe I have done. And he just blessed God anyway. Because people, I've seen people, they go through crisis and the crisis destroy them instead of promoting them. Everybody go through crisis. Everybody go through crisis. But do you understand? You might not have the whole picture. You might not know everything that is happening. But there is something you must be sure of that God is in control. That he will take care of you. John chapter 10. Sorry, chapter 11. Verse 1 to 10. Now, a certain man was sick, named Lazarus of Bethany, the town of Mary, and her sister, Martha. It was that Mary who had anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was sick. Therefore his sister sent unto him, saying, Lord, behold, whom he whom that loveth is sick. Therefore, when Jesus heard that, he said, the sickness is not unto death. He's not going to die. But for the glory of God, that the Son of Man might be glorified thereby. Next place. Now, Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. When he heard, therefore, that Lazarus was sick, he stayed two days still in the same place where he was. This is the man that he loved. Because a lot of people will say, how come he's not answering me? How come he's not rest? And he said he lost me. He said he will always be there. How come he's silent? Because sometimes God can be silent over situation. But that does not mean he's not in control. So he can't be silent. He said, even though he told, he said he's not unto death. Now, two things 
first of all, Lazarus is dead, and this man stayed back. This is the person that you are saying that this sickness is not unto death. What is happening here? Is not unto death. But he has said something. It is for the glory of God. I want to prophesy to somebody this morning. Whatever you are going through, we end in glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. I don't care what that situation is, but it will end up in glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. There is nothing impossible for God. It could look worse because for them, this sickness is not unto death. But this man has been buried for four good days. Nothing was happening. And he said, I am going to resurrect. I am going because that is the point. The glory of the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God to be made manifest. Everything that happened to you God is in control. But do you understand the season? Do you understand the time? Verse chapter 4, verse 7 and 8. He said, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Exhort her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to bring thee honor when thou dwellest embrace her. A call, a people, a gathering of leaders in faith and in Christ, in commerce and industry, in sports and entertainment, in beauty and fashion, in government and in education, in spirit and in truth. We are moved with a passion and zeal for the lost and the hurting world. We are equipped to build bridges and raise platforms to society. We stress cultural relevancy and yet harmonize our diversity as we communicate by all means our message. We are gathering of the saints, raising leaders and rebuilding nations. Get in everything you want to get, he said, get understanding understanding seasons in your life will save you from heartache will save you from destruction will save you from getting into things as a matter of fact it will bring you into the place where god is taking you to but the thing is do you understand the season that you are in do you understand season? First Chronicles chapter 12, verse 32. First Chronicles chapter 12, verse 32. And of the children of Issachar, who were men that had understanding of the times to know what Israel ought to do. It's very important to know what Israel ought to do. The head of them were 200 and all their brethren were at their command. Understanding times because doing the right thing at the wrong time will not produce the desired result. But if you have understanding of that time, you will do the right thing at the right time because both of them needs to work together do you have understanding of the time and the season you need understanding you need to know what you what you should do 
at every point in time. The children of Issachar, the new time. When you know time, things work better. Like I said earlier, there are things that I used to, you know, love I like spending my time with, but for some reason, I discover that I don't even enjoy it anymore, even when I try to. Hallelujah. And sometimes we get into that place, we feel that there is something wrong with us, or people around you want to make you feel that there is something wrong with you. So, but if you, and out of guilt, and sometimes you want to do what you are not, or what is, you no longer enjoy doing because you want to please other people, but that will not be good for you because everything in life have its own timing. And when you walk at the right time, you will get the desired result. I remember many years back, you know, um, I'm, I'm the kind of person, if, you, if you've known me for a while, you know that I like planning ahead. I like, you know, doing things, you know, at the right time. You know, I get very anxious sometimes if I have not, you know, really planned things out to do. And um, that sometimes when it also comes to timing, uh, it could also be spontaneous, um, what I'm trying to say. Um, I woke up one day some many years back, I was still living with uh, my mom those days, and I told her, you know, I was still in Lagos, Nigeria. And I said, you know what, I want to travel to village today. And he said, what is happening? And I said, I don't know. And in those days, we, don't ha we didn't have phone and all that. And somehow, the same mom that will argue and will tell me, no, you are not going. He said, OK, how much do you need? And she gave me the money that I need to go to the village. The interesting thing is, when I immediately I stepped into the house, everybody was asking me, how did you know, how did you know, how did you know? And I said, what are you talking about? He said, your grandma, because I'm grandma, I'm grandma's baby. So I was raised by my grandma. And he said, she has been calling your name since yesterday. And I said, oh, that's interesting. And um, to cut the long story short, um, after that day, you know, she said some things to me, although she wanted me to stay with her in the hospital, but um, my aunt didn't allow me. The next day she died after um, that encounter. Um, and sometimes things happen like that that is not in your plan or is not in, the, um, in your regular lifestyle or your... Um, should I say your nature, but what you need to do, you must be sensitive. That's why, this, like you said, the children of Issachar, they understood timing, so they are able to always do things because even though you are fast, even though you are smart, um, you, on, you need timing to get into the right thing, to get into the right place to do the things that will produce results. Everything that produces in your life, not that you were smarter than the people who where all did not produce is just that you had you were able to step into some things at the right time hallelujah so the scripture said in ecclesiastes that we read he said to everything there is a time and a season so there are time that you embrace and there are time you restrain from embracing and don't ever think that things are wrong with you there are time to party and there are time you know not to party there are time you know to be sober and being sober is not wrong in itself there is time you know to you know to do 
all kind of things uh, and there is time so don't always feel bad when you are not or when you don't feel like doing some things but uh, you feel you know guilt because you don't want people to talk about you because if you do the right thing you do uh, the wrong thing people will always talk about you anyway but the thing is do you understand the time do you understand season do you understand what you should be doing because that is what will produce uh, what god wants to do in your life hallelujah it is what we produce what god wants to do in your life understanding the season the scripture in um in hebrew uh, the word season actually also means the appointed time hallelujah the appointed time that you are able to step into something the appointed time is because you understand the season then you took advantage of that you know in um, they will tell you when you walk with the um the 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 wind uh, if, if, if um, sometimes the wind can direct you to the right place if you um, walk with it the right time I'm talking about elijah the scripture said after he said i hear the sound of abundance of rain what happened was after he finished praying the scripture said he stood and the wind took him and it had run the horse of chariots which also means that sometimes you might be tempted to go before your time you might be tempted to do things that you are not meant to do um, because everybody is going or everybody is producing a certain kind of result or everybody is showing you things and if you go before that time what god wants to do in your life is not able to do it so you are restricted but the thing is if you will stay with him if you will walk with him at the right time he will take you and he will take you even beyond your expectation the scripture said no eye have seen no ears have heard nor has he entered into the heart of men what the lord have in store to them that love him but the thing is for you to experience that for you to receive what he has for you you must understand that you must stay in the right place or you must be at the place and on the appointed time for god to thank you for you to outrun the horse of um ahab hallelujah there are things that you are looking or you seeing that it looks impossible but if god has promised you all you need to do is stay with him and sometimes you will be tempted to do some things about it but you must stay with god a day that puts their trust in the lord shall never be put to shame hallelujah no one that trusts god that is ever put to shame but the thing is are you waiting upon the lord because it is they that wait upon the lord that will renew their strength uh, it is they that wait upon the, the Lord that will mount up wings like that of an eagle to fly. But the thing is, are you waiting upon the Lord or are you taking law into your hand? There is season for everything because it's happening. When you see things, you know, that are happening to people, rejoice, appreciate God for their lives, celebrate with them, understanding that your time, your season is coming and when that time come nobody under the face of the earth that can stop you if you will wait upon God if you will stay with him your time will definitely come he said 
if the son or when the son of man come it didn't say if he said when the son of man come will he still find faith hallelujah will you still have the faith will you still be faithful will you still trust him will he find you standing or will he find that you have backslided because of the stuff that is happening around you every man's work the scripture said will be tried everybody will be tried every situation your marriage your work your business your you know relationship things uh, that you do life will try you everything will test you but if you don't hold on if you don't trust god to see you through there is a tendency for you to give up before your time but if you will trust him enough to hold on work with him he said i will never leave you and i will never forsake you but the thing is there is a time for me to act there is a time for me to do what i need to do so if you are doing some things and it look like nothing hold on you don't give up i said here the other day you know um meeting a lot of people that will say you know oh, god has disappointed me you know this god is fake i know that god is not fake sometimes they did not wait for their time sometimes they did not wait for their time. You go through setback is not the end. Hallelujah. It might be a setup for a comeback. A man says sometimes, he said, he says sometimes your failure can be a setup for you to have a greater comeback. Things, there are things that success will never teach you, that failure will teach you. There are things life will teach you. And if you want to jump or if you want to abort that process, you will never. The truth is that the reason Adam messed up is that he didn't grow. But Jesus grew. Mature. Because there are things if you don't, that is why they will tell you for everyone that won lottery they always go back broke why because they didn't understand the process of becoming rich everything has its own time sometimes god wants to build you he's preparing you because he have great things but you you are tempted by what is happening around you you're tempted and sometimes you feel like oh i knew this person before how come he's gone ahead of me you know he's made it big time before me uh, he's gotten married before me had baby before me sometimes god can keep you because he had a great purpose and assignment for you Abraham, he promised a child. He didn't give him until after 25 years. Pidana was given, was having children, but Hannah, the child he gave birth to, is a force to still be reckoned with today. None of us know the children of Pidana. Hallelujah. When you understand life is in season, life is in season, if you will embrace that, pray. If there is one of the most important prayer you want to pray in life is, Lord, give me an understanding. Give me understanding of the time. Help me to hold on when I need to hold on. Help me to move when I need to move. And as you also go on this journey, there are sometimes you will go, but you need to repent and admit and go back. Because like I said, failure is part of the process. But you can try to also cover up your failure. I 
tell, say it every time. The difference between David and Saul is that David admitted that he has failed. He repented. And God said, you see, this man is a man after my whole heart. But you see, Saul was trying to impress the people, you know, the Lord is still with me, and he was covering. And the more the truth is that every time you lie, you want to look for another lie to cover up that one until you become a professional. And sometimes people are comfortable living a fake life, and sometimes it become it becomes their second nature. It becomes their lifestyle, and they don't see anything wrong with it because they have lived their life they have lived the lies for so long that it not become a reality to them but if you will understand season you will not put yourself under pressure when you say my mate you do not have a mate you do not have colleagues you are all by yourself when God created you, he created you uniquely. Even the same identical twins, they don't have the same print, fingerprint. They, everybody have his or our own uniqueness, which also means everybody have his own time and season. Learn. Trust God. Thank God. That's why the scripture said, in every situation you find yourself, he said, give thanks. Be anxious for nothing. Be anxious, the scripture said, for nothing. Nothing should worry you. Nothing should disturb you. Nothing should make be anxious for nothing. But in everything, with prayer and supplication, make all things known unto God. Hallelujah. And he will bring your season to pass. Understanding the season will give you a rest. Understanding season will bring you into a place of peace. Understanding season will bring you into a place of wholeness. Understanding season will bring you into a place of freedom. Fear comes when you don't understand that God is on your side. Even in the valley, he is still with you. He's not only with you on the mountaintop. In the valley, he is still there. Father, we thank you. Spirit of the living God, we worship you. Thank you for your word which is yea and amen. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for power. Lord, we ask that you will have your way. In Jesus' mighty name, we'll pray. Amen. Hallelujah.